You remember Haiku, right? You know, the underdog open source operating system that I never stop talking about. Well, big news. After 15 years, Firefox is back. It's the year of the Haiku desktop, so stay tuned. And if you think that thinking different means thinking outside the bee box, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Haiku is the free and open source operating system with roots in the venerable late 90s BOS. I've covered Haiku quite a lot, and whenever I suggest that Haiku could be your daily driver operating system, the most common pushback has been lack of a modern mainstream web browser. But all that has finally changed. So let's chuck together a computer from random parts laying around my basement and install the latest nightly release of Haiku. Oh good, this is already mostly a computer. This is actually the guts of an old gaming PC of mine. It has an 8-core AMD Vishera CPU. At some point I stuck in this Radeon HD 6870, which works well with IQ, and the 725 watt power supply is held in by the appropriate number of screws. Zero. The only thing that's missing in here is any sort of hard drive. Now how am I gonna pick a hard drive for this thing? I've got so many. Let me introduce you to the Wheel of SSDs, the best worst idea I've ever had. All right, let's give it a whirl. All right, we have here an Inland Professional, 120 gigabyte. I have no idea what this was last installed in. So I guess let's see what boots. All right, let's see what we got here. I was trying to boot something. Well, whatever's installed on this drive, I don't think it's gonna boot on here. For all I know, it's a PowerPC version of Mac OS X. All right, let's boot this off a of USB. Let's open up the installer. Oh, that SSD had OpenSUSE Tumbleweed PowerPC 64 on it. No wonder it didn't boot. All right, as per usual, we will do this install in real time so you can see just how freaking fast this is. Look, we're halfway through, now we're 75% of the way through. Oh my God, we are done the install. That installed faster than Windows 11 even boots up. All right, generating SSH keys for the first time. Let's do a quick software update. Yep, update everything. Yeah, this thing is 32 gigs of memory. I think it'll handle Firefox just fine. So let's go into Haiku Depot, which is the software repository for Haiku. Type in Firefox and there it is, Ice Weasel. Although Firefox is open source, you can't actually distribute your own version and call it Firefox. You have to change the branding. Hence, Ice Weasel, get it? Firefox, Ice Weasel. So let's install Ice Weasel. And just like that, we've got frickin' Firefox. Oh my goodness, I've waited so long for this day. The last Firefox that we had on Haiku was Firefox 3.0. So this brand new bleeding edge Firefox, wow, this is a welcome sight. So what I wanna do is test out this version of Firefox, see what works, what doesn't quite work, and uh, there are some quirks and features in here. Right after this quick word about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Do you live in a terrifying technocratic dystopian future where all of your information comes through a magic worldwide computer network of dubious origin? I know I do. Surfshark safeguards your internet activity by giving you a secure tunnel to send all of your internet traffic through, protecting you from unscrupulous actors who might otherwise be able to watch what you're up to, and preventing them from using your location and browsing habits to censor or manipulate content, discriminate on pricing, and otherwise just track your activity. Surfshark is fast, reliable, and it runs on just about anything. Not only do they have dedicated apps for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and mobile devices, but they have extensions for browsers like Chrome, Edge, and Firefox. All right, let's download Surfshark for Firefox. Oh yeah, this freaking works, look at that. We are connected to Surfshark VPN on Haiku. Surfshark gives you unlimited devices, 3,200 plus servers in 100 countries. Plus, Surfshark Alert monitors data breaches and notifies you if your personal information shows up. 
So go to surfshark.com slash totally normal for four extra months of Surfshark. And for a limited time, the price is just $1.99 per month, but that's only till January 1st, 2025. So go to surfshark.com slash totally normal for four months plus that very limited time price. And thank you once again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's haiku shenanigans. All right, so let's find out just what works and what doesn't work here in Firefox on Haiku. Let's start with a, a quick Google search. Yeah, I mean, this feels fast. My friend, this does not compute recently put two vintage Celerons in one PC. Oh, it plays the ad just fine. Oh well, yeah, this plays YouTube just fine. Yeah, well, that's playing YouTube. Oh, yeah, something a little bit weird. I don't know if you can see it. There's a weird box around the cursor here when you drag it around. Uh, yeah, according to the forum thread on haikuos.org, that is something that is known. Flickering box around mouse, pointer, or moving window. All right, something I'm really interested to see. Can we play itch.io games? I don't see why not. Oh yeah, let's play Sprunky in the browser. Oh no, this browser does not support WebGL. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder if there's some way we can fix that easily. All right, well, it is set to use hardware acceleration. WebGL force enabled. True. I guess WebGL just doesn't work in this version of Ice Weasel slash Firefox. I do hope it gets added soon. All right, so here's something I really want to try. Video calling in Firefox. I have Google Meet open, and uh, this is one of the only webcams compatible with Haiku. I'm curious if Firefox here can access it. All right, let's try to join the meeting. I've got it open on my phone right here. No camera found. Yeah, this uh, does have permission to use the camera, but it doesn't seem to want to. All right, well, I was able to sign into Zoom. I wonder if we can launch a meeting here. Join from your browser, yep. Hey, look, I'm hosting a Zoom. Oh no, something went wrong. <laughs> oh, can I detect your camera? I think that's what it's mad about. Okay, as a point of comparison, I'm going to install the Falcon web browser, which for all intents and purposes is Google Chromium. I'm curious if this has access to camera and or microphone. All right, let's try webcamtests.com. We will allow the webcam. Oh look, Falcon sees it. Look at that, Sonic's USB webcam. Still does not seem to work. All right, well, it does work in Kodi Cam. Oh, no, it doesn't. All right, it works briefly and then crashes. So maybe this is more of a haiku problem than a web browser problem. All right, back in Firefox slash Ice Weasel. Let's try some other things. Can we install a theme? We sure can. <laughs> wow, that actually looks great. All right, let's install some other extensions like Privacy Badger from the EFF. That appears to work. Oh yeah, look at that. Do we have the container extension installed? Yeah, multi-account containers. I love this feature. Now oh, here's something interesting. I can't seem to click inside the extension pop-up window. If I shrink the window to the point where it's up above what I need to click in the extension pop-up, <laughs> then I can click it. But if it's down, then it clicks underneath. Just some quirks and features, that's all. All right, can I drag tabs? No, that doesn't work yet. And how about drag and drop into the browser? That did seem to work for a second. Yeah, that seems to work. Although it's not trying to upload it, that's weird. It recognizes me dragging it over top, but it doesn't actually start to upload it. Oh yeah, Bandcamp works. 
by the way, this is my band with Veronica Explains and the Taylor and Amy Show, and we play at VCFs. All right, I'm calling it now. This coming year is gonna be the year of the Haiku Desktop. Okay, now I know there are a lot of rough edges on this port of Firefox, but it's only just been released. There are very smart people who are still working on it, and it's only gonna get better from here. And just to finally have a modern mainstream web browser on Haiku, I mean, web positive is great, but I've been a Firefox user for many years now, and I'm looking forward to syncing my Firefoxes across Haiku, Linux, and Mac OS. But this is the perfect time to give Haiku a try yourself. It's open source and works on even incredibly modest computers. But if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more Haiku stuff, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. And I just want to give a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members. Thank you so much, each and every one of you, for supporting me and supporting this channel and all the weird stuff I do. I am so very grateful, and I just could not do this without you.